In 2015, shortly after he took office, President Hage Kengop and the First Lady Monica Kengos voluntarily declared their assets in the interest of transparency and has pledged to re-declare the president's wealth following his victory for his second term in office. Members of the National Assembly are thus expected to disclose their shares and other financial interests, directorships, partnerships and board memberships, sole ownerships and employment remuneration earned outside Parliament. The steering committee has set 30 June 2020 as the deadline for the submission of the declaration forms for business and financial interest. The Act also compels MPs to disclose liabilities such as immovable property, accounts with financial institutions exceeding $20,000, travel discounts, gifts, sponsorships, consultancies, pensions and any other material benefits. The National Council is the upper chamber of the legislature which reviews bills passed by the National Assembly. Meanwhile, during the debate on the Communication Amendment Bill of 2020, Swapo's Angela constituency councillor in the Ohangwena region, Jason Dakunda, emphasized the need to register SIM cards to easily trace suspects when they commit fraud. Many countries, all the countries that I know of, when you buy a starter pack, you get registered. You must provide an ID and then that number is registered against your name and you can be traced. He also raised concern with uncontrolled prices, particularly on data and broadband charges in Namibia compared to its peers in the region for a country which has access to the wax cable.